Have you ever seen those movies where the kid that doesn't fit in gets shoved in a locker? Well, that happened to me. Not just a normal locker, but a high school locker, because according to them, I was too fat to fit into a small one. See, it felt like hours, and it felt like no one cared about me as well. As a five-year-old, it was a scarring moment, and I never wanted to go through that again. I was a kid who didn't fit in, and I was really scared for that to be my reputation. Because of them, I was trapped in my own self-esteem. And because of them, I did everything to completely and utterly change myself over the years. From my style of hair to the way I wore my clothes, I never looked the same again. Peer pressure took over my life since then, and it still kind of does now. So that's why I'm here to talk about it. One form of peer pressure is dares. How many dares do you think you have completed in the last year? How many of you can answer this counting on just one hand? Maybe two. Those of you who can count on under 10 fingers, give yourself a pat on the back. This means you're good at avoiding peer pressure, a topic about social anthropology. Now, when we think about this, we think about it as something that doesn't really affect us. But unfortunately, that's not the case. For example, I asked 32 students in our school the same question I asked you. How many of them have completed a dare in the last year? Exactly 18 of them could relate. That means over 50% of them have a them that's making them do something they don't honestly really want to do. Why is this topic so important, you may ask? Well, this is why. This is the story of a girl who was severely affected by peer pressure and it caused her to lose her life. Katie was just a normal girl, hanging out with her normal friends. There, were, there was a game back then that only the bravest would go through with. This was a game. A train would be coming down the tracks as normal, but this time there would be someone running across the tracks for their life. Most survive, but some don't. Katie was one of the unlucky few. See, when we see a compliment or acceptance as an award, our brain does too. When we are succumbed to peer pressure, a chemical in our brain called dopamine sends a signal to our amygdala, causing more reactors to activate than normal, which makes the feeling to misbehave stronger. So Katie ran on the tracks, but she never made it across. They had to have a closed casket funeral for her injuries. No one should have to go through this, and I hope none of you ever do, but it does happen. So now I have another question for you. What do you think peer pressure is? The website dictionary.com defines peer pressure as social pressure by members of one's peer group to take a certain action, adopt certain values, or otherwise conform in order to be accepted. So how many of you think about the social standards when you hear this definition? Social standards are yet another form of peer pressure that some students don't realize is. We all have an unwritten standard that we try to fit into. Be this tall, this skinny, wear these clothes, but what if we abolish them? What I mean by this is, what if we set our own standards? When we make our own standards, we make our own people. So we would all be headed towards a country where we all feel like we do have the freedom of speech and expression, and we would actually be happy with ourselves in the way we are, instead of having to fit into what other people tell us. We would no longer be falling into the trap of peer pressure. But of course, this idea has been disposed over many generations, restated in many people's minds, and shut down time and time again. So we are all pressured by our peers to fit into this standard. And those of us who don't are called a word that I absolutely hate, a misfit. Now, how many of you have been called this word or just basically been told that you don't fit into the standards of society? Well, unfortunately, this happens to a lot of kids in our middle school years. Well, whenever we don't fit into the standards, we can all be rejected by certain people and no one wants to go through this. Well, why is this word so commonly used, you may ask? This is why. Because the social standard seems so high and so straightforward, it may seem like perfection. You may have heard this a lot, and it may sound really cheesy when I say this, but we are all imperfect people, and we live in an imperfect world. So the pressure to fit in at this point seems unreasonable. But when I first started my talk, you basically knew you could relate. Now you know why you shouldn't. When I leave you with this information, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to keep being affected by normative influence? Are you going to keep conforming to the standards of society? Or are you going to become your own person now? Well, we may have some people who don't already struggle with this. So I encourage you to help other people find themselves. When I leave you, please don't let them affect you and change you. And most importantly, don't become a them. And last of all, just be yourself. Thank you.